The Prophet of Islam attached great value to the category of education, both religious and scientific. Regarding the importance of thinking and learning, it was narrated from the Prophet that one hour of thinking is better than 70 years of worship. In this video, by mentioning a meritorious story, the importance of learning is pointed out from the perspective of the Prophet of Islam. Please stay with us until the end of the video. During the time of the Prophet of Islam, Muslims were excluded of any freedom and social activities when they were in Mecca, they could not perform their religious duties and obligations freely, nor learn their religious teachings freely. This situation continued until Islam penetrated in another sensitive area of Arabia, which was called Yathrib and later became known as Medina al-Nabi, which means the city of the Prophet. The Prophet of Islam migrated to this city, based on the suggestion of the people, and according to the oath they made with him. Other Muslims gradually migrated to this city. The liberty of Muslims' activity also started from this time. The first thing that the Prophet of Islam did after immigration was that he considered a piece of land and built a mosque there with the help of his friends and entourage. At the beginning of Islam, the Medina Mosque was not only for performing prayers, but it was also considered the center of religious and social activities of Muslims. One day, the Prophet entered the mosque, he saw two groups, each group formed a circle and were busy working. One group was engaged in godliness and praying and the other group was engaged in teaching and learning. He inspected both groups and was delighted to see them. Then he turned to those who were with him and said, These two groups are doing good things and are on the way of goodness and happiness. Then he added a sentence, but I have been sent to educate and enlighten. So he went to that group who were engaged in teaching and learning and sat with them.